Mr. Speaker. Uh, CS. Um, uh, thank you. Thank you again, uh, uh, Honorable Speaker and members. Uh, Senator Madago, the measurements, how accurate are the measurements? Uh, we, we, we did deal with this uh, before the Senator came into the House, uh, Honorable Speaker, uh, with respect to uh, the accuracy. We have an outturned report, that's an independent, um, uh, independent report, independent um, uh, company who was hired to confirm the measurements of the product as they were of taken, uh, loaded, and transported into uh, uh, to, to, to Mombasa. We also have a report of the product as they were exported out of the Mombasa oil refineries, uh, loaded into the ships. And uh, we have also, because these are public resources, and it is not, it's not a space you want to, to be careless, we have also gotten an independent audit report uh, by a company, a, a, a South African company I indicated called RCA, Rosa Corella Associates, a fairly comprehensive report which looks at various aspects uh, of uh, production, metering, loading, and uh, exports, and they have given us a comprehensive report to confirm uh, the accuracy of the product taken out of Turkana, taken out of Mombasa, and uh, uh, sold to those two uh, of takers who bought the product. Uh, the pricing, like I said, has been published. Maybe what I'll need to do to um, satisfy the concern of the House through Mandago would be to provide the audit report, which does capture the pricing, the plus pricing at the time we sold this product, which is, uh, it's got a lot of numbers. It's got all those all those numbers, and it can be checked against the plus pricing uh, of the market, of the international market at that time. And uh, what we are basically competing on is the freight and premium, uh, which for the for the companies that transported the product to the to the market. Of course, first from Turkana to Mombasa, and from Mombasa uh, to the market. Uh, so yes, we have that information, and it can be verified as we have got an independent audit report and we have got a separate outturned report of the independent company that uh, supported us in terms of uh, ensuring that the processes and procedures of loading uh, and measurements were properly done. Uh, regarding the equitability, equitable connectivity of electricity, we will we'll of course uh, appreciate that uh, we need to work very closely to equitable, but if you are in Nairobi City as a, as a senator, uh, Nairobi City would almost be 100% to a very good extent covered if you are looking at public institutions because of the development status. And if you are in uh, Senator Chute's uh, uh, county in Marsabit, uh, we'll appreciate that it could be much down. But we'll work together, like I said earlier also before Senator came into the House, that I'll be giving um, comprehensive uh, schedules of all the public institutions in every county in, in due course to all the honorable members to help us to audit the status of uh, electricity provisioning into those institutions so that we can tally what you have on the ground and the records we are holding in the ministry and use the disparities of where there is not yet uh, connectivity to, to do a budget uh, that covers those areas within the next two to three years, so that in this term of parliament, we should be able to comprehensively cover uh, this country. So in terms of equitable, it is, a, it is an historical issue. There is no reason why today uh, we do not take every county close to parity, uh, uh, but challenging in the way we live, because uh, uh, if we live migratory, then we provide electricity today and so on and so forth, but we'll work together in terms of working with those schedules. And of course, the RERIC, Rural Electric Electricity and uh, Renewable Energy uh, Corporation, uh, does do maximization. We do max when we provide a transformer, we like to utilize that transformer 100%. If it can take 100 people, 
There is no reason why it is only connecting a primary school and two customers. We should be able to ensure that that expensive asset does connect all the communities around that area and then map the access to ensure that we take our country to close to 100%. Uh, Senator Esther Okinuri, uh, Asante, and um, reporting on the public resources, I did indicate that, yes, we have a, an audit report. Uh, when we get an opportunity to visit some of our investments in power, in petroleum, the, the measurement aspects or the systems which have been built to measure the product are so elaborate uh, to ensure that we do our part as a public trustees to make sure that none of our product is taken out without proper uh, documentation, proper measurements, and more importantly, uh, we should be able to subject ourselves to uh, this house uh, for the work you do in terms of uh, confirming that we are doing the right thing. So um, again, as we bring in the field development report, these are the uh, production facilities that will be built into the investment uh, to ensure that we are able to measure the whole product and confirm profitability because we don't, too, suppose our, more of our product is taken out um, at the right price or at the wrong price. It could actually turn out that uh, the commerciality of our oil fields may not be determined and therefore we can kill a project which is otherwise profitable. So I want to confirm, uh, Speaker and Honorable Members, that we'll continue to uh, be subject to this House uh, in terms of being accountable, in terms of ensuring that we build uh, systems that measure our resources, be it in uh, petroleum, be it in power, to ensure that we earn uh, the correct value for our product and uh, subject uh, to the responsibility that has been endowed or bestowed upon us. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker.